Where do you fall in political ads? You have Jack Dorsey saying Twitter is not going to accept political <clears throat> ads at all. You have Mark Zuckerberg saying we'll accept all political and issue ads and we're not going to um, decide or, or sort of fact check them, decide what's accurate or not. Where does Snap fall? We've tried to strike the right balance. So we subject all advertising on our platform to review, including political advertising. And I think what we've tried to do uh, is create a place for political ads on our platform, especially because we reach so many young people and first time voters. We want them to be able to engage in the political conversation, but we don't allow things like you know misinformation uh, to appear in that advertising. So you fact check the political ads? That's correct, yes. And so how do you do that? Do you have external groups or an internal team? We've got an internal team uh, that, that works on that. So you know it, that, that might be more similar to uh, cable rather than broadcast. I'm sure you're familiar with all the political advertising regulation. Um, uh, one other political issue that's come up recently is TikTok, which is owned by a Chinese company, ByteDance. Um, a lot of questions about whether that Chinese ownership of this, this company that is very popular here with teens in the U.S. could be potentially dangerous or risky. What do you think about those concerns about TikTok? I, I'm really not sure. And, and I'm not sure it's a political issue more than it's a competitive issue. I think this is a really great example of a Chinese technology company being really successful with U.S. consumers. It's one of the first times that's happened in the United States. So I think our country's sort of grappling with that because we have a free market and we encourage that sort of competition, how we want to regulate uh, you know, data sharing and, and things like that going forward.